just down the road a couple of hours. Missouri women's basketball team off to its best start in program history. Why not come down and catch a little basketball, absolutely, huh? Absolutely, absolutely, man. Anytime I got a chance to come back and support, you know, that's what I want to do. So You're so supportive of, of your alma mater. Uh, what, are, what are some of the great memories that come flooding back to you uh, whenever you step back onto this campus? Uh, I mean, there's, there's tons, you know, from, from when I played on the football field to, you know, when I came back and, you know, beating Kansas here and, and, and beating Florida here. So there, there's so many things that, that come back. Um, but, I mean, this is a great place, man. So why, why wouldn't you want to come back? Jeremy, last Friday was a year ago to the day that I saw you at the Missouri Hall of Fame event. Yeah. What was that night like for you being inducted with two of your former college teammates? Uh, well, first of all, it's surreal, uh, you know, to, to, to go down in the Missouri Hall of Fame. Uh, it's definitely an honor. Uh, but at the same time, to go in with, with Chase and Chase, uh, that, that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, I shared the football field with those guys, and, uh, and I couldn't have asked to go in with, it, with, with you know, two better individuals. So. What's this been like for you? You're a St. Louis native. You played your college ball here in Columbia. Now you're with the Kansas City Chiefs. Just wrapped up your first season. Being Missouri born and bred, this has got to be about as picture perfect a career as you could have mapped out for yourself. Absolutely. You know, you know, everybody, uh, you know, asked me why I chose to, to come back to the state of Missouri, and, and I felt like it, you know the script was written for me. You know, it, I couldn't have asked to be in a better situation. Uh, I think both both sides fit very well. And now with the Rams, you know, leaving the state of Missouri, now you know, why wouldn't you want to play for Kansas City? You know, you got a whole state that's kind of you know looking at you and, and, and pulling for you guys to be successful. So I'm excited about it. Jeremy, I want to ask you about Gary Pinkle, finished his, his career here at Missouri. What did he mean to you as a head coach? I meant the world, man. Uh, you know, he, uh, you know, he stood, stood by me uh, from thick and thin. Um, you know, there, there was uh, numerous of, of times, uh, you know, that, that he had my back. Um, you know, and, and I think, like I said, I've always, you know, the, the number one thing that I, that I respect about him the most is, uh, you know, telling me, you know, if I was his son, he'd tell me to go to the league. And I think uh, for a coach to say that to a player, it definitely means a lot. New staff here, but uh, you former players still hold your, your connections. So many former Tigers in the NFL now. And I'm curious what kind of feelings you guys still have. I mean, not necessarily what feelings you still have for your alma mater, because we know you still love the place. But how do you still try to stump for your alma mater out there now being a pro, you and uh, all the former Missouri Tigers in the NFL, including a couple of your teammates, Chase Daniel and Mitch Morris? Absolutely. You know, well, for starters, you know, it's awesome uh, to see these guys perform each and every Sunday. Uh, to be able to go out there and play against these guys. I mean, you look at what Coney Ely did in the Super Bowl. You look at Shane Ray playing in the Super Bowl. Um, to, to guys contribute on all different type of teams. I think it speaks volumes to the kind of uh, talent that we're flushing out of this university. And uh, you know, I, think, I think that's something they should, they should definitely be proud of. Jeremy, you just completed your first year as a Kansas City Chief. But I want to ask you about when you went into free agency. Was playing for Andy Reid atop the list of things you thought about when you went into free agency? Absolutely. You know, I think that was uh, definitely up there as well as coming back to the state of Missouri. Um, you know, Coach Reed is, is, is a great guy. Um, he, he's a player's coach, uh, but at the same time, he's also a coach that, that everybody respects. And, uh, you know, to, to have that, that guy lead your team, um, I think, you know, everything heads in the right direction. And, you know, you see how close we were last year. Uh, you see the team that also wanted a team that, that we beat uh, throughout the season. So uh, I'm excited about our future. You've been such a good offensive player since you got into the NFL. A lot of folks watching right now probably have you on their fantasy teams and whatnot. You're <laughs> fantasy all-star but that really started here at Mizzou didn't it with the spread offense and how much did that experience help springboard you into the NFL well I think for starters you know I, I think I owe Mizzou uh, credit to uh, just being able to put me in positions to be successful and I think that's what it's all about uh, nowadays with the way the kind of the league is changing um, it's all about creating mismatches and, 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 and you know taking favorable matchups and I think that started here and, and, and now in the league you see everybody spreading the ball out and you know getting the ball in their playmakers hands so I'm excited I kind of got a jump start on it Jeremy, we're excited you joined us. Good to see you. Thanks for swinging by. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Jer <laughs> Jeremy Macklin, former Missouri wide receiver, now at the Kansas City Chiefs.